Let's take a look at long division. We've got a couple examples to look at here. Get my pen working. There it goes. Okay, so we got x minus 2, my famous minus 2s. I can't seem to get away from those. Uh, x squared minus 3x plus 5. Many of my problems seem to revolve around x minus 2 for some reason. Well, with long division, um, we're going to take the look at the first term of each. So I take a look at x and x squared. You ask yourself, what times x gives you x squared? And that'd be x. Now, whatever you put up on top, you multiply by what's out in front. So I'm going to take x times x minus 2. That gives us x squared minus 2x. Now we're going to subtract that line, which means we'll flip a sign. So this becomes negative, and this becomes positive. Well, x squared minus x squared drops away. Negative 3x plus 2x gives us negative 1x, or just negative x. And then I'll bring down the plus 5. Now again, we look at the first term of each, decide what to put up on top. You ask yourself what times x gives you negative x, and that's negative 1. Whatever you put up on top, you multiply by what's out in front. So we'll take negative 1 times x minus 2. That gives us negative x plus 2. And we're going to subtract this line, which means we'll flip the signs. So this becomes positive, and that becomes negative. Negative x plus x drops away. 5 minus 2 gives us 3. And uh, this is our remainder. There's nothing times x will give you the 3. And we put our remainder over where we're dividing by. So put the 3 over the x minus 2. And then that would be our answer. x minus 1 plus 3 over x minus 2. Let's look at another one. <laughs> x minus 2 again. Okay. And we got 4x plus x to the third plus 2. Now, um, this isn't in the right order. In order to do our, our long division, it has to be in standard form. And you can't have any missing powers. Now, standard form means you go from your largest power down to your smallest. The x minus 2 is fine. This is x to the first power. This is the no x, our constant term. But what's inside is screwed up. Our largest power is x to the third, so we need to start with it. And then you have to have one for each power going down. Third power, second power, first power, the no power. Um, so we need an x squared, but there is no x squared up here. That's where we put the zero placeholder. So put zero x squared. And then the x to the first power comes next, so I put the four x. And then the no x, the constant term, goes last, which would be the plus two. And then we'll go through the same process as our first example. Um, we'll look at only the first terms of each and ask ourselves what times x gives us x to the third and that's x squared now whatever you put up on top you multiply by what's out in front so I'll take x squared times x minus 2 that gives us x to the third minus 2x squared Now I'm going to subtract that line, which means flip the sign. So this one's negative, and this one's positive. x to the third minus x to the third drops away. 0x squared plus 2x squared gives us 2x squared. And then I'll bring down the rest. Now again, we look at the first term of each side to what to put up on top. We ask ourselves what times x gives us 2x squared. And that'd be 2x. Whatever you put up on top, you multiply by what's out in front. So we'll take 2x times x minus 2. That gives us 2x squared uh, minus 4x. Now we're going to subtract this line, which means we'll flip the signs. So this one becomes negative. This one becomes positive. 2x squared minus 2x squared drops away. 4x plus 4x gives us 8x. And I'll bring down the plus 2. And again, we'll look at the first term of each side to what to put up on top. You ask yourself, what times x gives you 8x? And that's 8. Whatever you put up on top, you multiply by what's out in front. So I'm going to take 8 times x minus 2, which gives us 8x minus 16. 
And again, we're going to subtract that line, which means flip signs. That becomes negative. This becomes positive. 8x minus 8x drops away. 2 plus 16 gives us 18. Now, there's nothing times x that will give you the 18, so that's our remainder. So we'll take our remainder and put over what we're dividing by. And our answer is x squared plus 2x plus 8 plus 18 over x minus 2.